Hi everyone. Um, I know uh, Mr. Babshi looks different today. Uh, I'm wearing something in my face that we have to um, wear those days and it's called mask. Um, this mask prevent us from having uh, any sickness from um, another people. Um, you know, we are at home and um, uh, those days we have a virus and this virus it's called um, coronavirus or some people they call it COVID-19. That's why when we go outside, we need to put those masks on. There is two kinds of masks. Well, there's a lot, but there's two kinds that you can put behind your ears like Mr. Bob is doing right now. And there's another kind that you can put it on your face like this and then you put it put the rubber band from behind you just like that so those are the kinds of masks there's a lot of masks that people use doctors also they have different kind of masks they have to use in the hospital or in their uh, office so today I'm gonna read a story for you it's an extra story uh, for this week but this story is different look at this story Mr. Bob, she found this story on a Facebook and I printed out and um, I shared it from a friend and I printed out for you and I made it a book. It's like a book. And this story, it's called wearing a mask, wearing a mask. Look at those kids over here. They having masks on their faces, right? Sometimes adults and kids need to wear masks to protect other people from getting sick. This might be something new for me. Masks might feel kind of uncomfortable at first, but I will get used to it. Every time I put a mask on my face, it keeps pushing up. So all what you have to do, just squeeze it from the top over here. Sometimes it feels uncomfortable, but we have to keep putting it on. Even when I wear a mask, it is still important to stay six feet away from other people. See, this is the number six. It says six feet. You have to stay away from people six feet away from them. It is still okay to touch and hug my family. It's okay to hug my uh, son. It's okay to hug my daughter. And for you also, it's okay to hug your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother. Your grandma, your grandpa, if they are living in the same house with you. Let's say your grandma and your grandpa are living in another house. And they came by uh, the sidewalk to say hi for you. Do we run for them and hug them? No, we don't. We have to stay away six feet from them to say and wait for them. To say hi and wait for them. I usually don't need to wear a mask mask in my home or my yard so i don't need to wear a mask in my home or my yard so mr bob right now she's at home do i need to wear this mask no i don't have to but i want to show you how to wear it and it's so easy also to put a mask and talk through it you can hear me and i can move my lips the sound is going out so everybody can hear you If I go to a store or to an appointment, I need to wear a mask. If you go to a doctor appointment or if you go to a store with your parents, like grocery store, for grocery shopping, shopping, you need to wear a mask. But it's better to stay at home and only your mom or dad go and shop for you. If I go somewhere else, with my family and there are other people around, I should wear a mask. 
And this is also happens if we walk, go walk on my neighborhood. So if you go walk on your neighborhood and there's people, also you need to keep wearing a mask, but you have to also remember, stay away from them six feet. A mask can protect other people if I cough or I sneeze. It will also protect me from others. So remember when we were at school, we used to cover our sneeze with our elbows. Right now, we have the masks. Also, you don't need to put your, your mask and put your uh, elbow on your uh, mouth to sneeze. If you are outside, you sneezed, your mask is covering your mouth and it's uh, keeping keeping your uh, safe from other people if they sneeze in front of you or if you sneeze you're protecting the other people from getting sick also even though if you're not sick and you don't have the coronavirus you still need to put the mask on please it is still important to wash my hands or use hand sanitizer if I'm at home I don't ever use hand sanitizer always I wash my hands with water and soap but if I went shopping for my family I have a big bottle of hand sanitizer in my car and I always use it doctors are wa working hard to find ways to make COVID-19 remember COVID-19 what's the others um, name for it do you remember what mr. Bob said it is coronavirus right COVID-19 it's called also called coronavirus doctors are working hard to find ways to make COVID-19 go away once it's gone I won't need to wear a mask anymore and hopefully that happens soon Wearing a mask is different, but it's it will be okay. So, please make sure when you go to a store, you go walking um, in a busy neighborhood. Let's say we're walking on a sidewalk and our neighbors are walking too. We still need to put our masks on. If we are in the backyard, your home backyard you don't have to put any mask because you're there by yourself and with your family members um, make sure also to wash your hands keep washing your hands with water and soap if you're outside the house you need to get a small tiny bottle of hand sanitizer and keep using it to wash your hands instead of water and soap so this is my extra story for you this week i hope you did enjoy it and um you do what are those kids doing in this uh story Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.